It's been way too long since there's been an episode. So let's get back at it. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Well, if it wasn't one thing, it was another that kept me from doing the Blog Oklahoma podcast for most of 2022. If it wasn't hardware issues, it was unexpected life events, such it was my turn to catch COVID. That was fun. Or the unexpected loss of two of our beloved pets, FB and Widget. That really hurt. We missed them. Well, I'm back from the unexpected 2022 hiatus, and I'm confident 2023 will be a much better podcast year. I don't think I'm going back to a weekly podcast schedule quite yet, so I'm going to be on a monthly schedule for now. (laughs) Well, I say that, and here it is, February already. This podcast was supposed to be out last week in January, but that frigid weather we had actually drove me out of my home office. It was just too cold. My little office heater couldn't keep up with the bitter north winds. Oh well, I'm doing it now, so expect another episode later this month. If you have any questions about the podcast or what I've been up to, please feel free to ask. So, here's to a better podcasting 2023. Let's get back at it. I invite everyone to follow Blog Oklahoma on Mastodon at blogoklahoma at social.tulsa.ok.us. Yeah, a lot of dots in there. (laughs) Mastodon has been my primary social network for a few years now, and I thoroughly enjoy the community that has grown. If you're not familiar with Mastodon, think of it as something like Twitter, but decentralized yet federated, open source, ad-free, with no algorithmic feed, and without that musky smell. So to learn more about Mastodon, please visit joinmastodon.org, and I'll see you online. I want to let everyone know in the very next episode of the podcast, I'm happy to announce the return of In the News. It's where I'll discuss some of the headlines from around Oklahoma. This will be a little bit different since I will attempt to talk about more local news from around the state. Local news such as... You'll learn about some citizens in Ardmore who are concerned about pollution in a local pond. Or that you'll be able to attend a gardening forum at the Lawton Farmer's Market. Or how about a tale of a haunting at a restaurant in Noble. Or how the Cherokee Nation has started a program to help with addiction in Tahlequah. You'll find links to all this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. It'll be more than just headlines, so hopefully you'll get the idea. So please join me in the next episode for In the News. Over the years of doing the Blog Oklahoma podcast, one of the things that I've actually enjoyed doing, believe it or not, was putting together the extras I'd add to the show notes. Things like interesting articles, videos, and music, or sharing tidbits of Oklahoma life, and uh, what I'm working on at Blog Oklahoma. Of course, I could share all these things on social media, and I often do. But it's easy for all of this to get lost as it scrolls by in your social feeds. That's why I'm excited to tell you about the Blog Oklahoma newsletter. It's a way for me to share even more with you. You'll get it straight to your inbox so you can read it when it's convenient for you. If this sounds interesting to you, please go to blogoklahoma.com slash newsletter and sign up today. It's free and comes out on most Mondays. It's time again for one of my favorite yearly activities, the Great Backyard Bird Count. On February 17th through the 20th, simply take a few moments to observe the birds in your area. That's it. (laughs) Whether it's your backyard, the park, or wherever your favorite bird watching spot is, just spend 15 minutes and write down what kinds of birds you see how many, and when and where you saw them. When you're done counting, submit the results to the eBird website. 
I find this an easy, fun, and relaxing way to enjoy nature. If it's nice, you get to spend some time outside. If not, just watch out your back door or sit next to a window. Your observations will help scientists better understand global bird populations. If you would like to know more about the Great Backyard Bird Count, please visit birdcount.org. I'll have links to this and more in the show notes. I've mentioned this news in the Blog Oklahoma newsletter recently, but I thought I'd better bring it up here just in case you missed it. (laughs) At the end of 2022, there was news about a security breach at LastPass. LastPass is a popular password manager and up until now, a well-regarded one. This breach allowed someone to download LastPass's customers' full password vaults from one of LastPass's backups. Luckily, LastPass does have strong encryption, and only you have the passkey. So, your passwords should be safe. Unfortunately, there was some metadata that wasn't encrypted, such as email addresses and URLs. This means you could be at risk of other security intrusions, including things like phishing attacks. If you used or have used LastPass, it would be a good idea to go down your password list and start changing them, especially for sensitive services like banks and email. If the service you're also saving for also offers multi-factor authentication, turn it on. Due to this breach and how it was handled by LastPass, many in the tech community are recommending moving away from LastPass to another password manager, such as uh, Bitwarden, Dashlane, 1Password, or KeyPassXC. Each of these password managers has its own pros and cons. So look them over and see which one matches your own needs. I'll have links to them in the show notes. Unfortunately, I've recommended LastPass before. And so this news is disappointing for sure. I've updated my passwords, made backups, imported them into a different service, and closed my LastPass account. On the plus side, this gave me the opportunity to review all my passwords and make any security adjustments as needed. I wish LastPass the best, and hopefully this will help them build a better service in the future. The Oklahoma legislature will start its new session this week at noon on Monday, February 6th, with the State of the State Address by Governor Kevin Stint. I encourage everyone to follow legislation as it works its way through the sausage mill that is Oklahoma politics. A few weeks ago in the blog Oklahoma newsletter, I shared instructions on how to get the status of any bill. Again, I'll have links to this and more in the show notes. There are a few bills in there that need to be watched. That's for certain. Also, there's an election on Tuesday, February 14th. Even though this is considered an off year, there are election dates set for every month. This February's election will be for local issues, such as for school board positions or bond issues. Please visit the Oklahoma State Elections Board to see if you have a vote coming up. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you could purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. Just head on over to cafepress.com slash blogoklahomapodcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There are many hours of music for you to enjoy. I'll have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And as always, thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. This has been the Blog Oklahoma podcast for February 5th, 2023, episode 176. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.